what we're gonna do is we're gonna check out the island hopper creative challenges so there's a bunch of cosmetics you can get in this mode you can actually get a pickaxe a rainbow variation of raven's pickaxe but you got to complete these six challenges on six different creative maps so i think what i'm gonna do today is do a giant creative review the island hopper review i'm gonna give you a score on each of these maps try to give you some tips and tricks to complete these challenges the easiest way possible and yeah that's really about it without further ado let's get into it so the first map we'll be trying is one trigger 100 days one to four player 100 day survival that starts in the sky and i believe our challenge on this is to collect resources okay so this map has three modes it has survival frozen survival and hardcore hardcore mode only defeat the boss mega brood can be summoned by collecting three kinds of crystals poopy playtime chapter one there's poopy playtime in here i didn't know they had poopy playtime press the trigger to release an item your energy will gradually decrease if you don't go to bed for three days storm will attack you if you fall you will lose all your items okay because it is translated from japanese i don't quite understand it there's a bit of a language barrier Oh, that helps. That definitely helps, the language barrier right there. Great. Now, I know exactly how this game is played. Oh, okay, no, I already read that. Oh, English. A survival that starts with a trigger. As the game starts, you find a trigger. When you attack this trigger, building materials and crafting materials, animals, and sometimes even enemies will randomly be spawned. Press the trigger to get a pickaxe of choice. I guess I just chop it until I have enough materials. That is kind of the point of the game anyway, like this little challenge. You can literally complete this challenge just by standing here and doing this. Later. Or is it, where is it all disappearing? Why is it falling? Oh my God. Okay, I guess one of the strats is to just place things on the side. Otherwise your materials are gonna fall off. Found some beds. Go to sleep at night and morning will come. Oh, okay. And right here we have some trees to collect materials off of. Oh, wow. This is way easier. Okay. So I think I finally understand the process of this game mode. So what you're really going to do is you're going to spawn in and you're going to start chopping this until you get a decent amount of materials. Enough to get you to these four areas. And once you get to those four areas, then you can start uh, actually playing the game. Several days later. And I turned pre-edits off. Because that gets you killed in battle. There's just, oh my god. The first enemy. And it was nothing. Oh, what? I got greedy. I've tempted fate. And you don't have unlimited ammo. Okay, I guess the bone isn't necessary. I guess the bone just makes it grow instantly. All you really need is the seed. Just focus on these trees and you'll get your materials in probably about 15 minutes and then you'll have your challenge done. Much, much, much later. Found the enchanted cube. Oh wow, right under the main platform, huh? Doubles the number of items you get from the whatever. Max health, so you're, you're pretty much getting buffs down here. Working efficiency, movement speed, harvest speed. Immortal Llama lets you keep your items even after you die. Study on chickens. I'm not sure what that means. Interesting. Okay. So under the main platform is the secret cube. Well, at least we're like two-thirds of the way there. We're almost done. There are so many chickens and frogs from hitting this little middle thing, bro. And they run in terror of me. Uh, it doesn't have taming. This map doesn't have the taming. I'm gonna try to get them all in here, all the little chickens. What follows is a brief construction montage. We hope you enjoyed this brief construction montage. I will destroy you, chickens. There we go. I've captured all my chicken. Any chicken that's outside of this little gate, I'm just gonna murder it. Five minutes later. And just like that, we have the first island hopper challenge. It took us about 20 minutes on this map. We probably could have gotten it a little bit faster if we'd uh, focused more on this, just smacking this and building the trees. 
But I'll be honest, the language barrier took a little bit to get over. It, that has nothing to do with the quality of the map, though. Quality-wise, I would say this map is probably a 7.5 out of 10. 7.5 out of 10. It's definitely above average. The aesthetic's a little bare bones, but what I really appreciate about this map is the systems. The systems are actually pretty well realized. Like, everything has consequence. It really does kind of feel like a survival. The only thing I could say about this map is I don't feel like there's a lot of danger. Maybe I haven't made it far enough because it is a 100-day survival. So the next map we're going to try is Parkour Universe. 16-player adventure death run. We're doing solo, though. PvE, obviously. It's a parkour map. And we are trying to get achievements. So I guess there's in-map achievements that we're looking to unlock. Creative is definitely... It's interesting. It's definitely what's going to be the future of Fortnite. In year 10, creative is what's going to be keeping this game alive. Not really Battle Royale or even Zero Build going to be the creative modes that people make that are going to be keeping this game relevant modding community is always what keeps a game alive years and years and years after a game has passed its peak okay so what do we got here so i assume we go through one of these smelly peak corrupted castle splashy assembly we're gonna go splashy because it's summer splash time waterfall all that parkour our way through wow this one's pretty cool What? So why did they not grab there? What? This map has interesting designs, but it's not working properly for me. I don't know what it is, dude. It really is not working properly. I'm not getting the correct physics. Like, what is that? What is it? <laughs> why is it? Why is it lagging like that? That's weird. Oh, okay. See? Secret token. Unlock achievement. So, for this map, we don't even have to do every single thing. We have to unlock one secret token, do one time trial, and clear one stage. This creative map shouldn't take too long to actually get. Bro, get over the freaking hump. Ugh, stop. Am I getting trolled? No, I wasn't getting trolled to go this way. Oh, sweet baby Jesus. Hey, finish. Not time trial at all. I did not do that in time trial at all. Damn, that's going to be the hard part of getting this. You're going to have to learn a map and get it time trialed. I eventually found out that you can just get the third achievement by completing another map. But I still want to show you a fail compilation of me trying to time trial this map. Ugh. Bro, no! Come on, man. See, this is where it messes you up. Ah, oh, no. Oh, easy. Like that. You see what just happened? That's what I'm saying with parkour maps, bro. Bam, bam. The trick with this one is to run slide. Let you make it over that. Go up. Climb. Boom. Slide down. Run. Corner. Go like this. No! <laughs> ah! Like, how are children supposed to get these challenges? When I, a grown man with 20 plus years of gaming experience, am having this much difficulty doesn't make sense like these are challenges that you put out so that an eight-year-olds can complete their battle passes no eight-year-old is beating this i'm telling you right now no an eight-year-old is beating this map not in 30 seconds oh 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 Oh, and it still wasn't time, bro. Am I doing it wrong? Am I not activating the time trial? I only have to get three achievements. That doesn't mean I have to get all three achievements on one map. I'm done with that time trial. I'm just doing another map. I'm going to do another map.
And if you do that in 40 seconds, oh my god. Dude, this is way easier to do in 40 seconds. What are you talking about? There it is. Unlock achievement in Parkour Universe. So I will say, there's a lot of maps in here. And they probably have some really good concepts. But truthfully, this map itself is pretty damn laggy. I don't know. This is a 7 out of 10 for me. If it got cleaned up, then maybe. And these time trials, or at least that particular time trial, in the Waterworld Splashy Assemblies, I don't know if it was broken, because I feel like I was doing it fast enough, but... Damn, bro, if I wasn't doing it fast enough, I don't know how strict you gotta be. The next Island Hopper map we're gonna play is Blimp Wars 1000. Ghost vs. Shadow. So this one is PvP. TDM, 20 players. Cool, so we actually get to see the blimps again, bro. The blimps disappeared this season, we haven't seen them. 1000 eliminations win, fight players and guards. Question is, what is the challenge? Use vending machines eight times in Blimp Wars. This will probably be insanely easy. Earn gold from a limbs, use it to upgrade loot. Free mythics and exotics from regular supply drops. All right, please, please. So I gotta get on that to get some gold. Uh, dude, is there no physics? Is there no physics right now? Well, we're in battle for a bit. Let's see how this goes. This game is kind of chugging, to be real. Okay, where are we supposed to buy stuff from? Vault opening in 18 minutes. Whoa. Whoa, come on. <laughs> Damn it, man. Those are moves that work in Battle Royale, where you jump over and then you grab and you come back over. Do we even have, we have five gold. We get one gold for each person we kill. That is not the greatest exchange rate. And we gotta buy eight things from the vault, from the vending machines? Bro, I kind of underestimated, I think, how long this one is gonna take. Oh, the physics on while riding this blimp are really annoying me. It's like hurting my brain. It's so chuggy. Benjamin on Twitch, what's up, man? What? How come he gets to redeploy? How come him but not me? Huh? Huh? Actually, you know what? Hey. Stop firing at us, bro. Cut it out. What? Bro! What was happening there? Come on! Ah! One eternity later. Okay, you know what? Next time this blimp comes, I'm going over there. That's what I'm doing. I'm just gonna run up there. Hopefully, I get a good amount of kills on this. I don't even know why I try. I don't even know why I'm trying in this map. I run jump. It's the easiest. It's the easiest grab ever. That's what I mean. Like it just does not work, bro. Come on, banana man. But what the? What are you doing? Even the players are lagging, bro. Even the players, they don't work right. What is happening? Okay, cool. Rating this map, I gotta give it a six out of 10, man. Maybe a little bit low if you're not playing on a PC. Because I'll be honest, these blimps going in back and forth, it makes this game mode run like hot, stinky diarrhea. It does not run well. It is not really too enjoyable to play. I like the concept, but I think maybe my console just isn't good enough for it. And like most people play Fortnite on console, so your console probably isn't good enough for this game mode either. Also, takes a little too long to get gold to get significant items. Gotta play 20 minutes to get mythics and exotics. It just takes too long. Map takes too long, runs not well. Color Dash by Mr. Monkey Fortnite. I like that name. Random colors picked, you must drive on that color on time in order to not meet your demise. The game will become more difficult. We're playing some squid game right now. Unlock achievements and color dash. Okay, box fight, parkour, spectate, concert stage. What is this? Pro fishing? What is all that? Coming soon, favorite this map. Okay, whoa, what? There is the achievement board back there. Okay, wait. What? How 
How to drive to green. Drive to green. Oh, okay. Hey, this is kind of cool, bro. Okay, I can see doing this with the boys. Bro, if we could get enough people on a community day, this could be pretty lit, actually. Get to green. You're just driving. Homie, what are you, what are you doing? Oh! <laughs> we did it, bro. We did it. Oh, Oh, these are jumpers in the middle. That's what it is. Oh, do not hit the middle. Do not hit the corners. No. We're Fall Guy. We own purple, mate. We own purple. <laughs> Tiles are gonna drop faster. Oh, Jesus. Where are we going? Where are we heading? Oh, dude, yeah, I definitely would not have had time for the other one. Here it goes. Here it goes. Where are we going? Where are we going? Come on, come on. No! No! I didn't have enough time. Oh. No, I'm a Moogus. No. Okay, what are the achievements then? Let's see. Survive color in color dash. Win around to color. Minute of airtime. Get on a limb in box fight. Sold fish. Played for 10 minutes. All right, if we only need to play for 10 minutes, I'm just gonna do another uh, round of the car stuff because that's actually fun, bro. Round two. I cannot fit. No! I can't drive! I'm just disconnected. I auto lose! No! I auto lose the game! So I just need to sell one fish, I think. And then you get the achievement for it. So this might actually be the easiest way. If you can manage to win your first game of the bumper car, then you come over here and you get one slurp. Go ahead and sell. Unlock achievement. I'm gonna go back and look at achievements. Oh, look, dude. <laughs> I just got lucky there. If you can get the XP drop, be standing here when the timer goes off. Easy peasy. Complete car. Okay, yes, yes, I want in. Color dash. I wanna win the color dash, man. This is such a cool mode. Yes, yes. Okay. First things first, need to get out of the middle. Because these guys are going to try to hit you. You don't want to play the middle. Purple. There we go. See? Look at them all messing around, bro. What are you guys messing around for? Just act like you don't even know what's happening. Oh, why are they fighting for it? No! You guys could have had it. That guy's dead. Yep. Oh, my God. That guy's a dick. I gotta get that black car out of the game. This guy's an actual douche. Oh, God. Oh, God. So scared. Oh, Jesus. <laughs> oh, jeez, come on. It was so intense. No! Oh, I should have just... Damn. No. That was close. That was super close. I should have stuck to... I should have just kept bouncing. Thousands of tears later. I've been on this map a little bit. And I can give it a good grade. This is a 9 out of 10 map, bro. Not only does it have this really fun mode, and it's programmed well, there's no glitches. I've had no glitches while I'm on the map. There's a bunch of other stuff, too. Like, while you're waiting for these to load up, you can go box fight. You can go fish for XP. You can go do all kinds of stuff. So this, this map, 9 out of 10. Super fun map. I actually favorited it.
because I do like that color dash. I'll be playing it more for sure. Okay, so the next map we're going to play is Ultimate Murder Mystery. 10 player max just for fun. Six maps in one. Play as a hunter. Share for innocent. Level up. Get exclusive cosmetics. Daily presents and punch cards. If, is this like the Among Us map? I wonder. I don't have a mic on, so I'll be the most sus. That's for sure. What we have to do in here is collect 50 coins or get 5 melee eliminations. So I think it is going to be Among Us. Either we're doing the work and getting the coins, or we're getting the melee eliminations. Daily punch card to earn epic. 5 gold, 25 XP, battle pass, XP reward. Big battle pass XP reward. Booster? Gold? gold. I'm going to assume I'm not sus because it would have told me if I was sus. Yo! Watch it, buddy. What are the tasks? What do I do for tasks? Here we go. Hey, that guy's sus. I don't like that. Oh, radioactive gas. Oh, God. So it's one of these guys, bro. It's probably that guy. I feel like it's definitely that guy. It's definitely this guy. This guy did it. Oh! Hey! That guy definitely fired. How do we, uh... How do we call it? Who do I think is killer? Ha ha! Tricked ya, bitch! I knew it was you. That's awesome. I love that I found the killer on the first try. Later. He's a MOGA. See? Yeah, see, he was trying to follow me. I, I saw that, bro. He was definitely trying to merc me. Dude! How do I accuse? Dude, did am I really putting the oh god Fortnite bloom, bro? In the void. Am I sheriff? I don't know. I haven't seen anybody kill anybody. I haven't heard anybody kill anybody. And nobody says. Nobody says. Nobody wants to be sus on my watch, do they? Haha! -ha! I don't know why you don't get any coins for killing them, though. Getting these coins is just taking a little bit. I would actually kind of rather get. I think I'm gonna try to get murdered and do the mini games. Wow. I wasn't even. What? I don't know, man. This is not the best Among Us clone. Because he failed and he wasn't punished. And there we go. Easy go. One minute, 37 seconds later. Oh, <laughs> that's kind of cool. Somehow you can program those ladders to do that in creative, but they don't do that in the regular Battle Royale. A lot of packet loss on this map. What? Did he just leave? Collect 50 coins or get 5 ma- Okay, I did it! 50, oh, because I leveled up and got the 25. There we go. go. It's definitely above average. It's got some things to do. It's got a little extra, you know, pizzazz in terms of minigames and stuff. I feel like the Among Us mode could be a little more realized. I didn't discover any way to call someone out when I thought they were a killer. That's kind of a big thing in Among Us is that you can call a meeting. I never figured out how to call a meeting in that game mode. So solid seven out of 10 right there. So the last creative map we're gonna try is Prop Hunt, Modern Mall. Infection style Prop Hunt, props versus hunters, explore the Modern Mall with 30 players. I mean, Prop Hunt, do I really need to tell you what this is? You should know by now. This is a Call of Duty staple. It's been around for a decade plus. And our objective is to eliminate prop op opponents. So like half of these are offshoots of existing modes, or, like other games. Fortnite just wants to be the game for everything. Like you come in and you can play some made in China version of every game that's ever existed. Dude. Was that, are, these, are these guys playing around? Dude, you guys, you guys have to hide. What? Just 
just got my mad flick skills, bro. What are you talking about? Why are they not... You're supposed to hide, help me. God, look. Look how fast I got the challenge on this one. You're, it's, it's prop hide, bro. Prop hide. It's not, it's not prop hide. Ha <laughs> ha! Dang! Man cakes and pancakes. Oh, dude, they got a freaking working theater in here. He's like, calm down, ladies. I know I'm fine. I'm done with my challenge. This is what I care about now. Look at this. Dude, this is the best little Easter egg in Fortnite right here. Who made this? Did the guy who made this map make this? This is incredible. This map gets a bonus point just for that. Are you kidding me? I mean, dude, I only got to play for a couple minutes, but I feel like if you could if you could get people to play this map correctly, this would be a, a big map. For sure an eight, depending on how the people play it, it could be a nine out of 10 map. And with that, we have completed the creative challenges. We have reviewed all the maps. And here we have the Tropics Beak and the Wings. I didn't even notice that it came with wings. These really aren't summery colors, but it's kind of cool. This is what you get for completing the creative challenges. Honestly, not bad. It didn't take us that long. I could have gotten it done in probably an hour and a half. What did you think of these maps? Have you gotten your challenges yet? If you enjoyed this video, be sure to like and subscribe. Check me out on Twitch or YouTube. I'm live a lot. Just stop by, drop a follow, and you'll know when. Anyway, take care of yourself. Peace and love. Have a great rest of your day.